What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about entering the creator economy. How to make money in this online space. This is part of my revamp. I've not done a traditional business model in about 16 years. I've been online and I'm here to talk about the things that you can do to enter the digital creator space because this is a really wide open concept at the moment. Now, one of the things that you have to do, and I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff. A lot of people will create a YouTube channel, a TikTok channel, an Instagram account, or some type of Facebook page, right? And they'll put a handful of videos up there and whether the videos hit or they don't, depending upon what happens, the average person will just quit. Now, Here's one of the things that you need to know about entering the digital creator space. Your first time is probably not going to be successful. There are many people online in the creator space that have literally tried three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times before their thing hit. This is one of the things like I remember going to Vid Summit. I would say 2016, 2017. At that time, I had 55,000 subscribers. And because of my unique way of making money, and you'll notice this, you will see a lot of online creators who have courses, who have universities, they have YouTube channels. You will see time and time again, their YouTube channels are just not growing from a YouTube standpoint. They'll have a YouTube channel and they'll have five, six, 10,000 subscribers, right? Yet these guys have online course businesses that are making them millions of dollars. So one of the things is you have to understand the space that you're in. Now, for me, I really never paid a lot of attention to the YouTube money because the YouTube money has and still does fall consistently short of the other systems, the ways that I have set up to get money. And one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to really double down to is what is your space? Are you a YouTuber? And I want to say TikToker because they're the same thing. Are you a TikToker YouTuber? Are you an Instagram person? Are you a blog person? Are you an online webinar person? See, that makes a huge difference for your online success. Lee, because this is something that happened with YouTube where a lot of my older live videos going back to nine years got somehow disconnected from my YouTube channel. And when I went through my YouTube channel and I released a lot of stuff, a lot of those old videos popped up on the first page of live. And the only way that I could remove those videos was to go one by one to remove them and delete them and get them off the page. And when I was doing that, it was eight. It was a lot of videos. I don't know how many because I didn't count, but it, it took me about two hours to get rid of all of them. One of the things is I noticed is my trajectory, because this is one of the things that people want to see and it does happen where you'll come on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook place and you'll put some content out and the audience really likes it and you start to instantly blow up. This does happen. But let's talk about when that doesn't happen. It hasn't happened to me. At the moment I have 138,000 subscribers and with me reformatting the channel, making all these changes, I've literally drove a lot of people away, which was my original intention to clean up the channel. So now I'm starting off with a more truer base because one of the things that I've never done is my YouTube channel has had periods where it would grow. And here's the thing with me and YouTube. I love YouTube. YouTube is great, but YouTube is if you put up a certain type of content, that resonates really well, guess what you gotta do? You gotta keep putting up that type of content because the YouTube algorithm has said, oh, this works for this channel. The more they put up, 
the more we're gonna push it. And if you put up some content that explodes that you're not necessarily happy about creating, if you're not necessarily really hip to this content, you can find yourself in a very bad situation because you have a certain line of content that does well in the YouTube space with the YouTube algorithm, but you don't like making it. That's that that can happen because I will tell you with me, I don't even know how many YouTube channels I've had because now at the moment I'm down to three and I have tried many things and I will say my second YouTube channel, Savage Finance, that actually grew pretty well until I put up some content on how to get credit with no credit check and that completely ruined the channel. See, this channel, that video got pushed out a lot by the YouTube algorithm and it was finding people who wanted to get credit with no credit check, which means that the YouTube algorithm was looking for a bunch of people with bad credit. And I didn't realize when I did this, cause I was sitting there, the video started taking off, the video started tracking, it started going. I was like, yeah, this video is taking off. Then I put up another credit video and that video did well. And essentially what I have found out, and I'm here to tell you that you have to put out the content that you want to put out. Never ever put out some random content. There's a, what's her name? I can't even think of her name, but she actually was in the YouTube space of personal finance and saving money and living very cheaply. And then one day she woke up and she realized she didn't want to do that content. She literally got rid of all her videos and she started doing some new content. I think her name is Camille Colazzo. I'm not 100% sure. But one of the things that happens with the YouTube space, once you get into the space, let's call it the creator economy. There, there are so many ways for you to do well in the creator economy. Twitter can help you with the creator economy. LinkedIn can help you with the creator economy. Instagram, YouTube book. And there are some other blogs like Medium. Medium is a site where people can go and create writing resumes. In Medium, you make money from Medium. So the newer, the, the newer creator economy, because when I was going through my thing and I was taking down those videos, I became acutely aware of what it takes to become successful in the creator economy. Keep, I was literally, because I was deleting the videos because it was a process where I had to go to my channel, go to the video and edit it and delete it to get rid of the video. And a few of them I saved because I, once again, had no clue. I didn't remember, let's just say this. I didn't remember the things that I was doing to get to this spot. I was trying this, I was trying that, I was trying this. There, there were so many things I was trying that just simply did not work. The people were just not into it. And those experiments, those replications were actually 100% beneficial because Here's the thing, if you want to get into the creator economy, whatever it is, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, you need to learn from your failures. And as you learn from your failures, this gives you hidden insight. This gives you incredible insight. This gives you a pathway for you to become successful because I make the majority of my money when I do it because I'm not actually doing it at the moment from online courses and literally I made close to a million dollars in a month and all of that stuff that I did years ago, all of that trial, effort, tribulations, trying this, trying that, all helped me get to where I'm at today. The thing is, and this is the thing that kills most people who come to the internet and try to make money. They're looking for an immediate, quick and fast payday. And that's going to limit this person because it may take you three rounds, it may take you four rounds, it may take you five, it may take you six. I feel, cause like I was watching most, getting rid of those videos, I was watching some that I didn't even remember doing it. I had a consulting program that I had set up that I didn't even remember that I used to do that until I saw those videos. And I was just like literally talking to people in Japan, Thailand, Germany, and I was just sitting there, wow. So 
essentially entering the creator space in the creator economy gives you so much power and so many pathways because I have been in this space. I've been in the online creator, online course space. I've been in the teaching space. And now that I have figured out what works because recently I launched a free course, the modern money mindset to teach you how to manage your money. It's a free course. And all of those lessons and all of those things that I used to do and all of that stuff comes into play because here's the thing, when you create something and you fail, you build a resume pathway. It's okay, I did, this didn't work. I did this, this didn't work. I did, this didn't work. But along the way, each step of the journey is a new and unique pathway. And also, I want you to like the channel. I want you to subscribe, hit the bell notification and watch all of the videos and leave a nice comment. One of the things that I'm not doing, and when I was looking at revamping my course and stuff, I created 30 days to 2,500 eight years ago. And a lot of that stuff that was in that course that worked, things have changed. And I started looking at my content and I started looking at, and I was just sitting there like, my God, you've got to revamp everything because what happened was, and this is the reason I made the decision to revamp everything, is I want you to win. I want you to be successful. I want you to have the right information at your fingertips. And as I was going through that path, I realized all the things I'd done, all the things I had set up, the consulting and all this other stuff, I was just like, man, you have done a lot. And see, that's the key. You taking action. I know there are people out there who would tell you that you can take their course, you could take whatever system they have, and you can literally be making killer money in a matter of weeks. I would disagree with that on a wholesale level. Will you have a person who can enter this course and start killing it instantly? Yeah. And these are called the exceptions. These are not the norms. The normal person is going to go through a process where they're going to have to learn they're going to have to learn so much stuff because one of the things is I'm not going back to the stuff I used to do. I used to be a Craigslist connoisseur. I don't even mess with Craigslist anymore. I used to be an eBay addict. I don't mess with eBay anymore. I used to sell on Amazon. I don't mess with Amazon anymore. So when you come online and you enter the creator economy space, you've got a lot of decisions because I will tell you something. There are people out there who are making seven figures a year from a blog. And I know it's blogs, blogs makes money. Absolutely. Blogs are one of the biggest money makers online blogs. And one of the things is with technology, and the advancement of technology, they have got it set up with these tools. And you, once again, you have got to enter the blog space. You've got to, and you, because it takes writing. A lot of people don't want to work that hard. You have to go into a specific genre of YouTube, Instagram, and special learning. Because I know that for many of you, when I tell you that there are bloggers out there making seven figures, you're like, what? You're shocked because that's not the topical creator thing. It's not at the top of the list, but yes, there are blog owners who are making seven figures blogs. And there are many ways that you can make money. But what I, what I begin to understand is a lot of people want to make money the cool, sexy way. Airbnb, Turo, YouTube, TikTok. This is something that I've seen. There are a lot of people who have created TikTok channels, YouTube channels that only consist of shorts. That's all they put out are shorts. And I can tell you, you can have someone with a YouTube channel with say five or six million subscribers that puts out nothing but shorts, right? And then you can have someone that has a 30,000 subscriber YouTube channel and will make more money than these people. This is entering the creator economy, the creative space. You gotta know, when you create shorts, you have a different audience that will watch your shorts and maybe a handful will matriculate to your long form content, but not typically not that many. And one of the things that you have to understand is at the moment, because things change, but at the moment, your long form content and your short form content 
have two independently different audiences. And this is something you need to know if you wanna get into creating shorts. If you're gonna create shorts, I'm not telling you don't create shorts if you wanna create shorts, but coming into the creator economy and understanding the creator economy space, because I'm an online course creator first and I'm a YouTuber second. Now that a lot of you know me from YouTube, you heard of me from YouTube, and that may sound a little strange, but online course creation is where I get the majority of my money, it like 90, 98%. So that's my lead and that's what I'm going to double down on. And one of the things that I feel that YouTube breakdown where I had to go in and manually look at those videos and remove them, I feel that was a good thing because it opened up my mind to things that I need to do for you guys because I will never ever do storage auctions again. I will never ever do Craigslist, eBay, and I will never do that stuff again. I haven't been doing it for well over a decade. So what I'm going to do is teach you how to become an online course person. That's where the new training is happening because hear me well, there are one person businesses making seven figures, one person not even a personal assistant, one person and this wide band of the internet and technology, one person. And I've done it as a one person business. What you're going to see is a wave of these one person businesses. Cause here's the thing, when you create a personality brand and you create a brand that's around you, you have no competition. Let me say that again. When you create a one person brand around yourself, you have no competition. There's no one else that can do you. And when I created the corporate toolbox, I had no competition. When I created the corporate papers, I had no competition. When I created the art of holding, I had no competition because I was the only one that was talking about that subject matter in that fashion in that way. And once you go ahead and build your creator economy, whatever you want to do, and you start to get bandwidth, you create a system, an economy where you don't have any competition. When I created the, the, the corporate toolbox, I had no competition. There was no one else on the internet selling what I was selling. And this is the beauty of entering the creator economy where you create, you make stuff, you invent stuff, you do stuff. And this is going to be a huge, huge segment of the economy going forward. Why? Technology. I was reading up on chat GPT and artificially and artificial intelligent written blogs. At one point, Google had a problem with it. That's no longer the case. Google doesn't care if you as a human write it or you have AI writing your blog. As long as it's helpful and useful, that's all they care about. And once again, I want you to think, this is right now, this is, I want you to think where all this stuff is going to be five years in the future. And five years in the future, let me tell you, you're gonna have some AI software that can write a blog post, pick the picture, pick the right topic, and literally create the perfect blog post for your niche, for your audience, title, picture, article, keywords and it's going to rank on page one of google and when we get to that what i feel because right now artificial intelligence is quite cheap when we get to that point i don't think that's going to be cheap i think that's going to be extremely expensive to get that type of ai that does those type of things but this is coming what i'm going to do is talk about the creator economy how to make money online and how to set it all up because the creator economy is just going to consistently grow grow it's just going to get bigger it's just going to get deeper and there's just going to be more and more money it's just that's just the way it is and as a architect i'm an old school creative creative i've been online since 2000 and i made a lot of money from online depositories back then and now i realize that with me having to revamp rechange rebrand myself that i have to really rework all of my older courses not rework that's the wrong word i have to create brand new courses talking about brand new stuff that's what I got to do. So one of those courses, and I'm going to tell you is the modern money mindset course. It's free. 
Why do you want to get this course? You need to learn how to manage your money. There's some people are fortunate to have an aunt, uncle, grandfather to help them manage their money. And many of us just don't have that. I didn't have that and many of you don't have that. So this course is going to teach you how to manage your money. So if you're long term, short term and family operating accounts, and more importantly, it's going to teach you a new way to use your credit that no one's talking about. To get the course, the link's going to be in the description or it's going to be in the first comment and it's 100% free and just get the course and start going through it. And as we build it out, you're going to have a totally different appreciation and a totally different orientation when it comes to money. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today. I'll probably be here tomorrow. I'll probably be here in the next 10 years. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell notification thing and be sure to watch this video two or three times.